Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today I get to work on my favorite tool, the table saw. And today I'm going to show you five hacks that I use to get quick, accurate results. My table saw has a fence extension on it and I can go all the way out to 36 inches. I don't often go out this far, but when I do, often I'm cutting the back of a piece of furniture or something and it's usually like a thin piece of plywood and doesn't that always happen? It goes below the fence, you're trying to hold it up and move it along. No, no, no. Here's a much safer way. You get yourself any piece of board will work fine. You put it underneath there, use one of these quick clamps and clamp it down there and now you've got a resting place for that and now you can move that right through the saw blade and get a perfect cut safely. I still do quite a bit of cross cutting on my table saw even though I have a sliding miter saw um, and I hate this miter gauge. <laughs> I really need to replace it. Check this out. I accidentally dropped this big heavy beast on the floor uh, a few months ago and it broke off the nice handle here because it's only plastic. So I've had to replace it with a wing nut which doesn't work very well and of course the the gauge thing here bent but you know what I never rely on these things anyway the way I always find out on a table saw where the straight across the 90 degree angle is by using a carpenter's square and everything on a table saw is keyed to the miter slots so to set up my miter gauge I always First of all, you loosen it off so it moves around. Let's put it around this way so you can see it. Put that against the slot on the other side. Line that up like that. Tighten that down. And now you're guaranteed, no matter what this gauge says down here, you're guaranteed that that's going to be a 90 degree cut, a perfect cut. Now the other thing I cut 45 degree angles on here fairly often and again I you can't always rely on these things because sometimes they bend this one comes loose now the way to do that is you just simply turn this and you can align up any two numbers on the inside I'm going to use the 8 and the 8 and if I take that and move the miter gauge up to that double check that at 8 and move that that way, lock that down, and that is now a guaranteed 45 degrees. Quick and simple. Now I work mostly with three quarter inch material and from time to time I need to cut slots for one reason or other. They're not really dados, technically they are, but um, they're some kind of a slot. So I need something that's going to make a, a quick slot like that. And what I'd have is this little jig. So this is a jig that I've made up and it gives me a three quarter inch slot and I <laughs> I name it and put writing on it so that I don't throw it out because it looks like scrap wood but all you do is butt up to here, butt up to this one and cut out in between and you get a perfect slot and this is how it works. Just attach it to your fence And now you have a perfect slot. I buy most of my wood rough. <laughs> this one's really rough. Uh, but sometimes you'll have a, a board where you want to take an edge that might be warped or bowed or something and make at least one straight edge because you want to cut that on the table saw. Well, it's really easy to do. All you need is a, any kind of sheet of plywood. It needs to be flat along one side or straight along one side rather. And all you need to do, you don't even need a fancy jig for this. You can just put that, turn that plywood over like that and just get a couple of screws because often this wood's going to be split on the ends anyway so it doesn't really matter uh, and just screw, just screw it down from the bottom just screw it in nice and snug 
flip it over onto your saw, set your fence wherever you want that, and run your wood through. And that gives you a nice perfect edge anytime it's sort of a one-time use or, or rare use whenever you've got a warped or bowed edge that you need to get one straight edge on uh, it's a quick easy way without having to spend a lot of time making fancy jigs and now I want to show you my sometimes outfeed table and all it is is a work made as you can see you know you can pick these things up at uh, garage sales and swap meets for I've seen them for like five bucks. These are really good solid the, especially these older ones really good solid units they They are heavy and all that I put in the top of it is a T like this and I have a couple of screws on there so that I can put the uh, the top on and now I know that that's the right height for my table and it's at a little bit of an angle as well so that when the wood's coming off it's not going to catch and it just slides right up on that uh, it's quick and easy these things you can drop them down in seconds they store really well because they fold right up uh, just a really handy little outfeed table well and that concludes my video for today five quick hacks for the table saw to give you quick accurate results I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.